life. I grew up in Lubbock and 13 inches below the topsoil anywhere in Lubbock is red clay. And uh, when I was a kid, I decided I wanted to dig a swimming pool in the backyard and I had very generous parents that let me try. And once I got down to that red clay, I started making, I started just being amazed with this stuff and making pots and, uh, and playing around with it. And, you know, and I hadn't thought about that in a long time, but that was probably my first taste of clay. I took art classes all through high school and uh, uh, I was always in art and athletics and that's what kind of kept me in school and um, just fell in love with clay. Um, I graduated with an MFA in 1997 and so I, I taught more for about eight to ten years uh, further developing my voice and then after I felt like I was ready to go then I started working independently as an artist. Um, when I, I first started out, I started out and, and wanted to do architectural ceramics and so I got some good commissions for um, backsplashes and I got to do a larger scale backsplash and because of that commission, um, this, uh, I applied to become a public artist of the city of San Antonio and they really kind of went out on, on a limb and, and, and commissioned me because the one thing about public art is always, uh, we'll, we will give you public art commission if you have public art experience. And how do you get public art experience if you don't have that commission? And so San Antonio gave me that first experience. For me, it took over a decade to develop my voice. And uh, that is one thing I like to tell uh, kids first coming out of school because it's very discouraging. You're in school, you're in a lot of support, people are talking about your work, they care about it. You have all the facilities to support making your work. And then the minute you graduate, all that is gone. And it's very disorientating and, and uh, scary. And so I was very fortunate along the way just to find a few people in a few places that supported the work. And uh, I was able to persevere, but a lot of that had some luck in it too. And so I just feel very fortunate. It's such a varied experience. Um, that's what I really enjoy, is that it's not the same thing day after day after day.